Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of March, okay? Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and this is for March, okay? The timing is fluid. It could resonate now, but I urge you to watch it in March. This is a preview of what's to come in March, okay? So what do we have for Leo? Just put lotion on my hands. So, what do we have for Leo? Well, I guess we'll take those. They came on rolling on out. Sun! Unbelievable. That's your card, right? This is happiness and well being. If it will come into focus, right? So, this is, this is, this is bright. Well, this is positive. So happiness and well-being is going, you're going to be happy this month, okay? Table. There is some hard work ahead. Happiness doesn't usually come easy. Be nice if it did. Leg. Stepping into a new experience. Cracked cup. Dissatisfaction with life. So I feel like this is where you've been. You've been dissatisfied with life. You're going to be stepping into a new experience, but it's not going to be easy. It's going to take you uh, making a move because legs, what do legs do? They move you. Okay? So there's some, and there's legs on this table too. Anyhow, so I do believe that you, you there's some sort of work that you have to do and you're going to be doing it. You are going to be doing it and it's going to bring you towards happiness. Or maybe you're doing the work now and happiness comes in March. You know, if you're not happy now. But this is enlightenment. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. This is this is extreme bliss. Okay, this is a very positive energy. So you've been in, in some situation where you've been dissatisfied. You may have felt broken, right? You may have felt broken like, you know, is anybody going to come help put you back together? You know, but I feel like you're very strong. I feel like you can put yourself back together. But you maybe have, have been feeling broken. Um, or maybe somebody broke you. You know, you know, they threw you, they threw you away. I don't know if that's the case or not, but a cup has been dropped. It's now it's broken, you know, anyhow, you are about to step into a new experience. It's not going to be easy to fix yourself, you know, or to mend or to try again. You know, yeah, you may have some scars or you may have some cracks, but I feel like they can be healed. And this is this is a healing love. It really is a healing light. So I do believe that you're going to be stepping into a new experience this month. It's not going to be easy, but you will heal and you will be in a positive mindset. You will be glowing and you will be happy. Let's get one of these first. What do we have for Leo? Let's take this one since it was a jumper. Ooh, balance, justice, karma, getting what you deserve. This is the scales on a, this is the scales being balanced, but you know, this kind of looks like the magician to me. I mean, okay. This I mean, it is the justice card, but it looks like the magician. Okay, because of all these, uh, all the elements here. This is having the resources. This is manifesting something. You have manifested something that you deserve. This is everything turning out as it should. Something turning out in your favor. So I do believe that this is a card, or what? It, it, and if it's not in your favor. This is everything turning out as it should. This is a fair and just decision being made this month. This is truth coming out. If anybody's been lying, the truth will come out. And justice will be served. So anyway, this is, this is a card of justice, truth, integrity. Could be consequences for some.
So whatever is happening, somebody is going to get exactly what they deserve. And there's always two sides to every story. So in some cases, everybody's going to get what they deserve this month, okay? Whoever this is in your reading. There is some hard work ahead, though. There is. A bright new day is coming. Put it that way. So what do we have for Leo? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Remember, we talked about hard work a minute ago. You are going to have to make some sort of effort. And the effort may have to do with honesty. And I'm just being honest with you. Justice is a card of truth. It's a card of honesty. And it's a card of decision. And it's a card of a final decision. Justice is when a final decision is made. So there is going to be a decisive moment this month and you're going to, you're, it's not going to be easy, but you have to make a decision based on the truth, based on the facts, based on integrity and about being honest with yourself. So you're going to have to make some sort of decision this month based on the truth. You've been in a situation that is dissatisfying and you have an opportunity, a golden opportunity, a beautiful opportunity to step into a new experience. But it's not going to be easy to pick yourself up. You got to obviously pick up the clean up some sort of mess. Hmm. It's obviously not going to be easy, but we can make it work. So what do, what do we have? What do we have for Leo? The lovers reversed. So the lovers reversed is a separation. I'm not gonna pretty it up for you like 99% of the other people will. The lovers reversed is a separation. It is a loss. It is disharmony in a partnership. It's uh, incompatibility. Something that isn't meant to be. Something isn't meant to be. There's no compatibility. Okay, there's no compatibility there. There's disharmony. There's probably some arguments. Somebody needs to be honest with themselves. The Hierophant. So the Hierophant is a higher power. It is about believing in oneself. There's a direct connection to God here. We have somebody in this reading that has a direct connection to God. And there's some sort of protection. I believe there's universal protection. Anyhow, I do believe that, you know, the Hierophant is about commitment. It's about believing. Um, there's going to be some sort of awakening this month. And I don't usually see that with this card, but... It's like this is an awakening if you have this with this card in particular. It looks like somebody's been in a tomb, you know, and now they're awake. You know, now they've just woken up. We do have we have a new life that is gonna start, obviously. But there's a there is some sort of um higher power here. There is a higher power that is separating somebody because the lover's reverse is a separation. But this is protection. There is universal protection here. Um, you are. There's going to be some guidance. You, you're, you may be receiving some guidance. Some guidance from above or guidance from within. You're going to need to listen to your gut. This is guidance. You. There's somebody that can give you some information, whether it's coming from within or maybe it's somebody in a spiritual uh, profession. Somebody that could be a priest, could be a counselor, could be uh, a channeler. It could be you know somebody that is very spiritual that has some sort of guidance that can help you, you know, give you some sort of truth. Anyway, there is some sort of truth that is going to come out. You're going to be guided. You're going to be guided this month. Um, there is going to be some, or there is a separation. There's disharmony in a partnership. 
you and here we got guided to take and this and I, I wasn't even looking I was looking at this card so we do have you are gonna be guided you're gonna be guided to separate unfortunately the lovers reverse is a separate it's a separation card from somebody that you're not compatible with you got to be honest with yourself and truthful and you got to take action i mean that's a justice card but to me it looks like the magician card that's about be willing to shed the old to bring in the new and that's why make the effort is here there's something you need to shed and you're having a hard time shedding it you know, you are, and that's why you're dissatisfied. It's almost, it's almost like you are, and maybe it's a marriage or it's a previous commitment because this is in the past. You know, it's like you're, you need to wake up. You need to wake up. I'm sorry, but somebody needs to wake up and they need to separate from something that isn't meant to be. It's just not compatible. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard work. You have a new experience waiting for you. You but you have to move those legs. You have to take action. You need to take those steps. Anyhow, if you want love, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. You are being guided from a higher power. Your gut, your intuition, a spiritual advisor, God, somebody is guiding you to separate so that you can have the great love that you deserve. I mean, come on now. You want the great love that you deserve or do you want to be in this broken situation? Which is it going to be? It's not going to be easy to separate You can't be friends with lovers or exes. It doesn't work. That will impact your new love life. Do you think any new love is going to put up with that? You're telling the universe if you're still being friends with whoever this person is from your past or that you've separated with or you're not compatible with or whoever. You're telling the universe that you haven't healed, you know? You're telling the universe that you're not over it. Do you want a new life? Or do you just want to be friends with people for the rest of your life? There's an opportunity for love here. There's an opportunity for happiness, but it will require you to separate from somebody that you are not compatible with so that you can have the commitment or the marriage or the partnership that you deserve. But you cannot have both. This is a card of choice between two, and it's a card of consequences. And this is a card of consequences as well. So yes, there's an opportunity for happiness, but you have to take those steps towards that happiness. World. Now the world is a card of accomplishment. It's a card of success and uh, completion. So we have a completion here. This is the end of a chapter. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of something big. Could be the end of a marriage, an end of a commitment. Could be graduating from something. Something big that has impacted your life is coming to an end. It's the end. It's the end of a journey with a situation that taught you some sort of lesson. It does have to do with a union, a commitment of some sort. You, this is the end of a commitment or a journey that came into your life to teach you, it's going to go right here, a karmic lesson. Maybe this experience has made you more in tune with your intuition. Maybe it has made you more spiritual. Anyhow, I do believe we have a major ending here. You are about to embark on a new experience, and that is no joke. You're going to be leaving behind a 
union or a partnership that you are so committed to that is not compatible because it's the right thing to do and you know that it's over. You do. And I feel like you are headed right towards happiness. This is a new era. It's a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a new journey. It's a new life lesson. It's a new chapter that you are about to step into. This is no longer resisting change. It's accepting and allowing and going and recognizing that there's a bright future ahead. So you're, this, there's going to be a shift. There is going to be a shift. Five of Pentacles. Running away. Somebody may be running away because I see somebody running away. Um, there's some sort of abandonment, ghosting, running away. Yeah. Somebody's going to be running away, running in a new direction. Um, that's interesting. Um, there's been some sort of victim mentality here as well. We have somebody here that has been uh, refusing to get help, refusing to accept help, or not getting any help. There's been a conflict. There's been a conflict. This has been a battle. That somebody has really been struggling, struggling financially as well. And they've gotten themselves involved with an individual that is bad news. Very, very bad news. This person uh, doesn't care if they hurt you. They have their own motives. I feel like I feel like this month you're going to be making a getaway. I do. I feel like you're going to be making a getaway. Some of you may be traveling. You may be moving. You may be planning something. Whatever is happening, you're leaving an incompatible union behind that you were once committed to. But this was totally karmic. It was a karmic lesson. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with has really caused you a lot of struggle. Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles is a new prospect. It's a new opportunity. It's a new uh, path, a new door that is opening up. So there is there is a new opportunity you are about to be given to go down a new path. It's going to be starting over. You're going to need to focus. You're going to need to put in effort. It is going to be a lot of hard work. You're going to be getting an opportunity from somebody. Um, this is somebody that has something of value to offer you, and they see your value. Um, this is some sort of initiation as well. Um, it's funny that I mentioned scars. Because it, this would leave a scar. Anyhow, I do feel scars. There's obviously this person may have scarred you. Maybe they've scarred you for life or whatever. But now you have a new opportunity. You have a new opportunity for sure. Um, this is when somebody does the right thing. This is about doing the right thing. It's not going to be easy. It may, it may even hurt. I do think it's going to hurt to run away from something that has only caused you struggle it has it's only caused you struggle anyway i feel like this month you are going to be uh starting something new it could be you could be getting a new job a new a new offer from somebody it doesn't have to be a job it could whatever this is this is a gift you're going to be receiving something of value from another person um, and this could lead to stability. It could lead to security. But I, f I feel like you have to make the effort. It's going to be a lot of work. Something about work, 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 work. You're going to be receiving on something from somebody because of your, your, your accomplished. You deserve it. You deserve this opportunity, whatever it is. You're going to need to really focus. 
the tower reversed. Now the tower reversed is avoided a change, avoided, but it isn't avoided. Avoided it until now. This may shock you. You may re be receiving something that is going to absolutely shock you. Um, it's extremely shocking, whatever it is. Hmm. Somebody's been avoiding something, but they can't avoid it anymore. There's going to be, there could be a total loss here, and I hate to say that, but with the Five of Pentacles next to the Tower reversed, it feels like there could be a total loss. It could be a home, could be a foundation, um, some sort of stability, a loss of stability, but starting from scratch. Losing something that is unstable, that was built unstable from the very beginning. You know, uh, you're, you're losing. You are. You are because it's a partnership. It's a union that you are losing. That was because, But you do have another opportunity right here. Right here to start over. And it's going to take... It's, this is literally learning from scratch. It's starting over with somebody new or with a new job or whatever this is. It could be a new job. It could be a new house. It could be a new business. It could be a new lover. You know, it could be a new partner. You have a fresh start right here. You absolutely do, but it will require you to turn your back on the past completely. Com that journey, that chapter, that life is over. That life is over. So I do feel like you're going to feel... Um, you know, this is a permanent loss of some sort. It is a permanent loss, but it but it does, you know, set you on the right track. So yes, you're going to be stepping into a new experience with somebody's going to be making you an offer. This person is um, going to be teaching you something. We have a teacher here. I feel like this is a teacher, and this is I feel in this deck, this happens to be a teacher. Somebody is going to be teaching you another life lesson. You're about to learn another lesson. It's time to step into the next one. That's your new experience. I feel like the last one is over. It's done. And it's time for you to allow and make the effort to start. You're gonna, it's like, almost like being a baby, you know, and learning to walk again. You know what I mean? So it feels like you're, you're going to be uh, really starting from scratch you are absolutely going to be starting from scratch and getting to know you know uh whatever this new thing is and it's not going to be easy so um okay now we get the ten of pentacles in reverse this is bad business this is uh uh what are those termites or ticks or something blood sucking ticks anyhow i don't know what they are but it looks like something like that anyhow this is total ruin total loss may have something to do with the business may have something to do with the home um this is uh marrying for money this is a change of residence um some of you may be experiencing a change of residence or somebody you know is um this could be the end of a marriage the end of a commitment i do see that um anyhow Yeah, so I do. I do believe that uh, you're going to be going through a life-changing experience this month that you have avoided up until now. You've been avoiding it, but I feel like this month you have a new opportunity that is being presented to you in some way. Um, It's time for you to turn your back on a situation that is already over. You can't be friends with this person. Good luck.